Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about SQL joins. Namely, I'm going to explain you about the inner join, left join and right join. So let's get started. First, let us discuss what are joins and what are they used for. Okay, so let's take an example of employees database. You have two tables, employees and departments. So in any relational database, like I mean, the data related to employees is stored in the employees table and the data related to department is stored in the departments table. Now, what if you have a problem that uh, you want to find for each of the employees, you want to know the department name. But if you see here in the employees table alone, you don't have a department name, you just have a department ID. But if you see in the departments table, we have the department name as well. So, I mean, somewhere you can think that if you combine these two tables somehow, you can get the you know department name for each of these employees because you have a link between employees table and the departments table, which is your department ID here. Okay, so it is called department ID here and it is called DPT ID in this one. So what we need to do is we need to join these two tables based on this link which is existing between these two tables and then we need to uh, fetch the information like department name for each of these employees. So that is what SQL joins uh, are used for. SQL joins are used to basically query two or more tables together. Okay. So uh, with that introduction, let's get started and uh, see how to you know actually write a SQL query involving join and how to uh, get the you know department name for each of these employees. Okay, so so let me show you the employees table. So this is how my employees table looks like, and this is uh, my departments table that I already showed you. Now what we want us we want to find um, first name, last name, and department name of each employee. Okay, so let me write a query. So the way to write the query is you write select. Uh, I'll write the column names later from employees and I'm going to alias this as E and then I'm going to write the join. So join is the keyword which we are using now. So what we are joining the employees table with which table we need to join with, with the departments table and I will call this D. So you cannot just say join right. I mean you cannot just say join two tables without actually specifying the link between those two tables right. Like I already showed you the link between these two tables is this column department ID and in the departments table it is uh, the DPT ID. So what we need to do is we need to join whenever there is this column in employees table matches with the DPT ID department ID column in the departments table. So what we will do is we will say on. Okay, so on is the joining condition. <clears throat> so e dot department ID equal to t dot dept ID. So what we are essentially saying is you join the employees table with departments table on this condition basically. So this is the syntax to write. So what columns do you need to select after joining? You can select any of the columns from E or you can also select any of the columns from T. So what we need is we need first name and last name and department name. So the first name is basically present in the employees table and which is E and the last name is also present in the employees table itself. Okay. So now uh, we need department name as well. So the department name is not present in the employees table, but it is present in the departments table. So what we will do is we will say D dot department name so basically what we are doing is we are just joining these two tables on this condition and then from the joined table we are selecting three conditions okay so now let me run this query okay so now if you see for each of the employees you got the first name last name and the department that they belong to right so this is uh, basically i mean when you specify just join you mean like I mean by default it is an inner join. So if even if you give an inner join here, the result will still be the same. So this is an inner join. What essentially happens in an inner join is you will get the results only when this join condition is satisfied, right? So only when that employees table in the department ID matches with the DPT ID in the department table, you uh, I mean the join condition is satisfied and you get results only for that you know uh, satisfied conditions. But if you take a look at this employees table, right, there are two employees whose department ID is D5 and D6, but there is no record for D5 and D6 in this department table. So if you see here now, I mean, we just got 15 records. We didn't get those uh, two employees, Rahul and Alia in this results. So what if you want to like see, I mean, irrespective of they have the record in the department, or you just want to see all the employees right in the result. You don't want to miss any of those employees. So then what you will what will you do? 
So basically that is when the left join comes into picture. So what left join does is it takes all the records from left table. The left table is the first table that you mentioned before join. Okay. So it takes all the records from this table and for the records matching, okay, for the, for the records, which is satisfy this joining condition, it will re return those matched records. For the records which don't satisfy the joining condition, which is this D5 and D6, right? It will just return this uh, and the result will be as given as null. So let me show you how, how it happens, right? So let's write the query for left join. So the query will be pretty much similar to what we wrote here. But instead of inner join, we are going to call left join here, okay? And I'm going to run this now. So if you see here now, when we ran the left join, we got all 17 records. But since this two records did not have any, you know, the condition did not satisfy, right? I mean, the joining condition was not as satisfied for these two records. It returned as null because there was no department name for those two records in the department's table. So that is the purpose of left join. So what left join does is it will take all the records from left table and uh, for the Condition records for which the condition is not, you know, satisfied, it will just return you the null. Okay, so that is what a left join does. So now let's see what right join stands for. Okay, the right the query for right join is again very much similar. So if you see here in this table, departments table, right, we have D7, but the, there is no employee belonging to department 7 in this uh, employees table. So let's run a right join, okay? Instead of right, I won't, I'm going to call right join here and I'm going to run this query here, okay? So if you see here, we got all this department. So basically for the admin department, there was no record in the employees table. That is why it gave you null, null. So what essentially the right join does is it gives you all the records from um, you know, the right table and for the records for which this join condition is not mat uh, matching satisfied, it will give you the null in this right table. So that is what a right join. Basically, right join is nothing but if you can see that, you know, uh, if I just replace, you know, interchange the tables and I give a yeah, left join here, you still get the you know, same results as a left join, right? So, so right join is very rarely used. Because you can just replace these tables, you know, uh, department here and employee here, and you can just use a left join. So, right join and left join are very, really, you know, similar to each other. Okay, so that is that was a quick introduction about, uh, you know, inter what inner join means and left join means and the right join means. Hope you found this video helpful. If you found the help video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.